Now, we're going to uh, tackle the planning, or the final stage of planning, in the um, Bugs and Birds project. I've got my research of existing projects, or products rather, and I'm kind of looking at that one. I rather the, like the idea of encouraging bats into my garden, and um, I've got something here which is basically a little slot under which, up which the bats will crawl. Um, and something to uh, keep the rain off the top. So I've looked at materials that are available to me and I've found these pieces of wood here and it kind of suggests to me that they could go like that with another piece over the front. Bats can crawl in the end, piece at the top to give it a roof. Now, to make it make slightly more sense to you, I've, I've gone ahead and cut up the pieces that I'm going to use for that. So here we've got the piece that goes on the wall like that. We've got the front, it'll go on the top, and the front rather like that. That's going to go against the wall. We've got a roof there, sloping to keep the rain out, and the bat will crawl up there and hang on to something inside. Okay, so what we need to do now is to draw that so that anybody looking at it, looking at my drawing, can see how it goes together. We're going to use our old friend the exploded isometric drawing. Use the grid sheet there. Don't forget the word top needs to go at the top. Both portrait and landscape are available. So I'm drawing what I've just got here. And I'm drawing in such a way that I can show how it goes together. So I'm going to start off. And the lines are going to be faint because that's how you do it. Um, something like this. Now notice I'm drawing the lines over the lines on the grid paper and I'm turning the paper around so that I my arm will draw at its most comfortable position the first line should be as faint as possible uh, right so here we've got the other piece of wood at the side something like that Faint, faint lines, please, first of all. Some of these lines won't be part of my drawing. I just need those to establish where uh, the rest of it goes. Something like that. Right, so we've got now the back, which I will draw in slightly heavier. Remember, of course, that all the lines that are vertical on your object are drawn vertically, and the other lines, the horizontal lines, are drawn at um, 30 degrees. Okay. Right, so that's the back. We can see how those go. Those two pieces of pine, and that is a piece of OSB, orientated strand board. Right, I want another piece of OSB on the front. Now I'm going to draw that um, kind of remote from where it's going to be fitted. This is called an exploded drawing. And it's going to be something like this. You see those lines coming out from my drawing there? showing where the piece of wood would be fitted. Now 
now this is how as a designer you need to communicate your ideas uh, and that is a piece of OSB uh, now we've got the roof as well which I haven't quite got enough room on this piece of paper to draw it but basically I'm just going to draw the corner of it here so that angle there is parallel with where um, the uh, the roof will be uh, on the top here and uh, it goes off in that direction and that is of course OSB as well right so uh, you can think about how you might um, attach these pieces together um, possibly glue or glue and pin there might be a hole inside or maybe something at the top to hold it maybe a piece of wire fixed across there so that it can be um, hung